to your new Toyota CHR. In this short video, we'll show you how to start your new CHR hybrid. First, let's start the engine. You don't need to take the smart key out of your pocket or bag, it just needs to be inside the car. Now check the gear selector is in the parked position. Now press your foot on the brake pedal. A key symbol will appear on the display to show the car has recognized your key and is ready to start. And press once firmly on the start stop button here. The ready light will indicate that the car is ready to drive. Note that the engine may be silent as the hybrid system will use battery power to drive the car if possible. With your foot on the brake pedal, select drive. The parking brake will release automatically as you press the accelerator, or it can be manually released by pressing down on this switch. It's as simple as that. You can drive it like you always have. If you'd like to refine the settings, follow the next set of instructions. Once you're on the move, you might want to change the way the car responds to suit different roads or even your mood. So the CHR features drive modes, which change the way the accelerator and steering respond. The default setting is normal. This provides a balance of fuel economy, quietness and performance. To select a different drive mode, scroll through the options in the multi-information display using these buttons on the steering wheel. When you see this symbol, press the select button. Now press these buttons and select drive mode. Eco mode helps the driver save fuel by making the throttle response more gentle and limiting the air conditioning system performance. Sport mode changes the feel of the steering, transmission and engine to make them feel more responsive and could be used on a twisty mountain road for example. Once you finish driving, select P with the shift lever, apply the parking brake if auto brake hasn't been selected and press the start stop button. The system will shut down and it's now safe to leave and lock your car. Toyota CHR. In this short video, we'll show you how to make it fit you perfectly by adjusting the seat, steering wheel and door mirrors. Begin by sitting in the seat and turning the engine on, or press the start button once so the car is in the accessory mode. Now let's adjust the seat. For models with electric seat adjusters, the switches are here on the side of the seat base. They are designed so you can recognize the functions by touch alone. This changes the seat base and moves front to back, or up and down. This moves the seat back, and this button changes the lumbar support. Are you sitting comfortably? Next, let's change the steering wheel position. First, unlock the wheel using this lever on the steering column. Push it down and adjust up and down. Once you're happy, lift the lever to lock the wheel into position. Now we'll look at the door mirrors. These are adjusted using this switch on the driver's armrest. To move the left mirror, twist the switch anti-clockwise. Then move it to adjust and give the best view. To move the right mirror, twist the switch clockwise and select R. On some models, there's an electric folding function too. By pressing this switch, you can fold or extend the mirrors and set them to automatically stow when the car is locked. In this short video, we'll show you how to pair a phone to your car's Bluetooth for multimedia and use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. First, make sure the Bluetooth pairing on your phone is switched on. Then press the phone button on your steering wheel. Then, select Yes on the car's central screen when asked if you'd like to register a Bluetooth device. A list of the available Bluetooth devices and phones will appear. This could take up to 30 seconds. Choose the phone you'd like to link to your new car. You may be asked to check the pin on your car's display matches that on your phone. If they match, accept the request on your phone. Now you are paired and ready to make hands-free calls and stream music and podcasts. You can also use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto by connecting your phone with a cable. Insert the cable to your phone and then then into your CHR's USB socket. Here, you will be asked if you wish to use CarPlay or Android Auto. You'll be linked, and the available app icons will be shown on the CHR's display. First, 
the pre-collision system, which is always active unless switched off. It uses a radar sensor and front camera to detect objects in front of your Toyota. When the system calculates that a collision is imminent, it sounds a warning and flashes a message on the multi-information display. If it determines the possibility of a collision is extremely high and no action has been taken by the driver, the brakes are automatically applied. The automatic braking will be cancelled if the accelerator pedal is pushed hard, the brakes are applied, or the driver steers sharply, as if avoiding the obstacle. The pre-collision warning can be turned off or the timing changed using the multi-information display. Use these switches to find the menu. When you see this symbol, press the select button. Now press these buttons to scroll through the options and select when you see this symbol. Now select sensitivity. There are three levels available and the middle setting is the default. Next, we'll take a look at Lane Departure Alert. This function reads the road markings on motorways and other faster roads, alerting the driver when the CHR seems to be drifting out of lane. If the car drifts across the markings, the lane line will flash yellow. The system won't warn the driver or intervene if the indicators have been activated. You can turn the system off at any time using this button on the steering wheel. The car will remember your preference next time you drive. Next, we'll tell you about the automatic high beam system fitted to some CHR models. This uses a front-facing camera to assess the light from other vehicles. It then automatically controls the high beam to give the best visibility without dazzling oncoming traffic. First, check the headlight switch is at the on or auto position. To activate or deactivate the automatic high beam system, push this button by the driver's right knee, then push the left-hand stalk away from you. A light will show on the display to show AHS is active. Now, let's look at Road Sign Assist. This helps keep you on the right side of the law by reading specific road signs and warning you if you're breaking the rules. When the camera recognizes a sign, it will be shown on the multi-information display here. The system will sound a chime and flash a warning to remind you of the road sign instruction. Should you wish to turn the system them off, look for this option in the settings menu. Finally, we'll look at the CHR's Full Range Adaptive Cruise Control. When set, the car will maintain a set speed until it comes up behind another vehicle. It will then stay at a fixed distance behind until the way is clear. To activate the system, press this button on the stalk to turn the cruise control on. Once you've reached your cruising speed, press the Set switch. The Cruise Control Set indicator will come on to show your speed has been set. The car will now hold you at this speed as long as the the road is clear. If you want to adjust the distance between your car and the vehicle in front, it can be set by operating this switch. There are three choices, long, medium or short. If the vehicle in front is too close and the car can't decelerate fast enough, it will sound a chime and may apply the brakes automatically. To cancel the system, simply pull a stalk towards you or touch the brake pedal. Enjoy the advanced safety features of your Toyota and drive care.